Hey guys, it's JQ from TCVG, and tonight I am joined by Lachlan. Hello. Ben from Nolan TCG. Hello. And a child. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a child. He just likes salad. It's mm. just Glenn. Okay. Challenge. <laughs> yeah. It is the locals' best salad player. It is probably the, the best only salad, salad player. player. The only Joshua salad Glenn. Player. Um, so we'll start by just talking about our week. How was our week in Yuga? We'll start with Lachlan because I feel like, and this is of no offense, it'll be the briefest. Yeah. Uh, I started playing Duel Links again. That was pretty good. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, went on a, I, I matched my longest ever win streak of 17. Well, actually, no, you I, beat I beat it by one and I got to 17. Yeah. And I beat my longest win streak, which was 16, with your Senju's. Um, Loza told me, he said, I just think you're the only one who knows how to play this deck. <laughs> and I don't understand how, because it is brain dead. Plus, the best deck in Duel Links right now is Blue Eyes, right? And it just has an excellent matchup against Blue Eyes. So, like, I don't see why more people aren't playing it, if I'm honest. It's very good. Um, but, oh, yeah, real Yu-Gi-Oh? No, that sucks. <laughs> I play Digimon. Oh, well, <laughs> well, some people in our Discord will be very disappointed because they're looking forward to your Infernoble profile. Yes, I definitely have a... A list. <laughs> <laughs> Where is it? Don't ask questions. <laughs> don't ask questions you don't want the answer to. <laughs> <laughs> but what did your streak end to? Huh? What? Um. I mean, there's this bullshit ass skill that, but every single time they activate a trap card, they inflict 200 damage. What the fuck? They they halved damage. Like cowboy does 400 damage. But they can activate two trap cards and do 400 damage. What the fuck? That's bullshit, and man. Monsters. And also, I just didn't draw into any Osenju except Sujik and uh, Izna. And that is not good. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, You've used that joke a few times. Yeah, you very had much. way too prepared. Um, but yeah, that's my week in Yu Gi Oh! Cool. Oh, um, also, I did very poorly tonight. <laughs> you played Dragon Maid last week. Oh, yeah, I did. I played Dragon Maid on uh, Sunday. That last Tuesday. Oh, last, Jesus. Last week, yeah. <laughs> um, made it to the final of Dragon Maids. Um, I guess that video will be up soon on Ben's channel. It goes up on Thursday. Thursday, so the day after Did you, you see this. another goddamn Dragon Maid profile? No, no, just the match. Oh, okay. That's but cool. there's a deck profile. Oh, there is Dragon a deck Maid's profile up coming channel. up. That will go up on the same day the video goes up with Ben of um, the match. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. That was not very. Even though clear. It's you're playing the match. <laughs> I'm playing the match, and, and it's. I did the deck profile. The, Ben's deck profile, but, but it's also the, Ben's deck that I changed a little yeah, bit. Yeah, the version you're playing is better. Yeah, because I'm big brain. Um, but that's yeah, super fun. I very much like that deck, and once Chamber goes down a little bit, I will buy. I will buy that deck, and I, that will be my main deck. How much is Chamber now? Hundred dollars. Except I was like, oh. hey everyone, who's got Chamber Dragon Maids? No one said anything. And then <laughs> Seb sold three Chamber Dragon Maids to, uh, to Lewis for $180. <laughs> price I would have paid. Very, very good price. Very good. But uh, look, we want Lewis back, so I'm fine with it. Yeah, 100%. Yes. Um, ben, your week, how'd you go? Uh, mediocre. Both, both. Yeah, mediocre. mediocre. It was, last Tuesday was Monster Mash. Yeah, it was Monster Mash 2020, 2021 beatdown. Uh, which will also... Oh, wait, no, we never... Oh, no, it, there's a video on the channel about that deck right yeah, now. Yeah, the match went up tonight, the deck profile goes up tomorrow. Yep. Um, yeah, that was fun. <laughs> it was fun for me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> easiest match of the night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and, yeah, that's right, you went in for Sunday. Uh, Josh, how was No, your... that's everyone. No, <laughs> no I'm <laughs> look, look, I'm asking you to be polite. I don't really want to answer. <laughs> Which day is this Tuesday and Sunday? All right, you're done. Just, um... just, you, you last week. You can include last Tuesday if you want. We did. Last Tuesday, X1, Sunday. You went to a Sydney tourney on the weekend. Yeah. How was that? Oh, uh, I went X2, losing out to trains in the final round. You lost on trains. the bubble? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, that's rough. Trains are... Earth Train Machine is actually quite a, a it difficult was, uh, deck. It was a Train OGK deck, and he might be coming out to Wollongong soon, which is very important. Check one die. of our, or both of our <laughs> uh, channels to see that. Um, and I won tonight. But I watched MBT's video on Earth Machines, which is 
what trains are now. And that deck is it looks quite difficult to pilot, like well, to be honest. It it's, can be it's, very tricky. It, it is not. I remember he was running also a Shadow package in there with Chapanaga as level ten. Yeah, that's a very oh yeah, train Shek. package. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shek. Just because it's, it's, a, it's a level ten Earth machine, yeah, and they can pitch another one from deck to grey. So yeah, super Send simple Ariel. engine. I had all my hopes and dreams. Did he actually? No. Oh. He just told me. Oh. That would have made my night. I would have thrown um, up. You just won. Um, as for my week, so um, of the people here, I was the only one that was in on Sunday, which at our locals was a 2015 tourney. Um, and I decided to relive my 2015 exactly how it was and played what was possibly one of the worst decks running around, which was Ghost Trick Skeleton Mill. <laughs> this was a very fun deck for me to play. However, the deck is terrible. It the only deck it had a good matchup against is Cosmo because it never targeted and like yeah, it just sort of blocked them from getting any life points, which was like one of Cosmo's biggest strengths in its very early days is like it could just punch you with Farm Girl and kill you. No one was playing Cosmo. <laughs> so I just died. Um so I think it was uh Clifford Tower Turbo that ended up winning. Yeah, Tom won his yep. first Lucky locals death. in a hot minute. <laughs> Maybe s- even since 2015. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really sure. No, he's won with I'm joking, I'm joking. Mystic Mystic Mind once he definitely won with Mystic Mind once. He also mm. did some stuff, I think, in the spir- in spiral, like first spiral format. I think he played yeah. it yeah, all yeah. week. Yeah. No, he Maybe. played it like for the lead up because that's how I, that's when I met Tom because it was the two of us were playing spiral. 2017. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, and then yeah, tonight my deck was performing well, and then at the finals it shit itself, <laughs> which is standard. Shut the fuck up, Josh. <laughs> who did it shit itself against? I Name who. redacted. It's <laughs> alright. That person won't be alive by the end of tonight. Uh, so that covers our week in Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, speaking of last week, I believe there was a remote duels that happened, um, an invitational. Actually, I think there was a couple of invitational events from what I know, but um, yeah. So, um, Ben, have you got info on that one? Oh, I don't know. I tried. <laughs> I, I tried, but I couldn't find it. Um, um, one interesting thing I did find out is that um, someone was um, using Duck's videos from your channel as inspiration, and they summoned Halka Firebrax with no tuners. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. yes. They are. That's hey, something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Duck. <laughs> what did they. I didn't uh, see the strike de- dragon clap serpent into help. Yeah, but then what? That's it. Yep. That's how you summon a Mexican Halka Fibrax. <laughs> <laughs> That's an incredible name. <laughs> like, surely you just put a ghost ogre in the deck, right? And you're like, fuck it, I'll just summon ghost ogre. I mean, he had probably rocket synchron. But I'm sure he actually summoned like a rocket card. I'm sure he has tuners in the deck. It's just he then like he proceeded to do full combo, having not put a tuner on the board and summoned Halk. Oh, yeah, and the live stream so just two non-tuners insane. into Halk. Oh, I thought you said he wasn't running any tuners in the deck, nah. <laughs> and he made Halk and didn't use its effect. Halk and I was like, anything why would you do right? this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. No, quite the opposite of what you thought. I did not read into this sarcasm at all. <laughs> I mean, Rocket Trace is a tuner. It's a bit too high level. Okay. Uh, Your mum's too high level. I should hopefully have the... Uh... But not for me. The remote duel stuff in a second. Here we go. Okay. This is what editing's for. Uh, so the remote duels was 25% Dragon Link. Um, no, sorry. That is 50% Dragon Link. Yeah. Gun yeah. Uh, so the top eight was four Dragon Link. Uh, a Mech Knight invoked player. <gasps> Grenmaju. Uh, Bird Up. Yeah. And Virtual World were the other four. Bird Up's very good. I love Bird Up. I do not believe it's the best deck. However, it's very good. See, I think Bird Up is the best deck in the format. <gasps> Ooh. Like. <laughs> the, the audio graph there was so good. It was. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Stop. <laughs> well, okay. okay. Um, all right. So, there's a couple of interesting things in there. Grand Marjo always seems to pop up. Mm. It always seems to pop up because. I, was this event in Mexico, or was it just like the sort of uh, was, United States, there Mexico, was two, Canada so area? By the looks of it, it was a North America Invitational and a Central America. Okay. So, I'm not sure which one was which, but then the other one was, its top eight was two Dragon Link, 
Um, then we had a Eldritch Zoo, uh, a Numeron deck, a Shadol Invoked Dogmatica, uh, Trap Burning Abyss, Dinosaur, and Stun. See, Shadol Invoked Dogmatica, that's what I think is the best deck. I wonder if this Numeron dude's just like playing just bosses list. Gets hit. <laughs> Konami clearly doesn't listen to me. If, if <laughs> I say Winder's getting hit, it's not getting hit. <laughs> like, that's it's how it fall. works. Uh, uh, <laughs> we already had a 50-minute podcast where I talked about Winder for that entire 50 minutes, so let's yeah. not do it again. You never saw it. You're better off for it. <laughs> <laughs> Bars. <laughs> I'll just pick up on that. Um, okay. Oh. So... We have the OCG ban list had come out not long after our list as well. Um, and they had some different opinions in terms yeah. of what should and shouldn't get hit. So uh, they have banned Tempest Magician, which is an FTK card. That's fine. That can yeah, go. exactly. Uh, VFD got limited as opposed to banned. I believe um, they have Bamboozling Gossip Shadow banned, though. Yeah, they banned that the previous list from which memory. Which would make this not as big yeah. a problem. Yeah, 100%. Um, but that's not how we work here. Uh, <laughs> Um, uh, semi limits. They've brought back Skullcrabat to two, uh, Firewall to two. Um, I believe they the have the errata. Yeah, they yeah, they have. have the they made the yeah. errata. Yep. Yeah. So they just got put the it errata. to one though. They were like errata it, make it useless to one. They went errata it. This is still the best card of all time. Let's put it to one first. Let's see what happens. It was never going to do anything. But that's the yeah. system they run on, right? Is it that is. cards go to one, then they go to two, yeah. then they go to three. Yeah, instead Whereas of we just zero, sort of... three, zero, three. Ah, fuck it, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor um, and also Union Hangar got brought to two, which is nice. ABC's getting thrown a bone. Um, Unlimited, they've got Melisic, um, which was previously semi-limited. <laughs> that's so funny. The Melisic was... <laughs> on their van list, the a whole bunch of list. random crap is For just a very long two. time. I yeah. think Ash is still at two, right? Uh, no, sure. that I came don't back think so anymore. two lists ago to three. From oh, memory. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Demise is have... at two over there, I believe, also. Mm. Junk Speed has gone from Tanky. semi-limited to unlimited. Uh, they also brought back Deloren, the Tiger King, from semi to unlimited. Uh, symbol of Heritage, semi-limited to unlimited. Um, I always thought that card was something else. I thought it had something to do with Heraldic Beasts, yep. and it does not. No, no. Um, it? <laughs> it's on it... our ban list. You should know what it does. I think it, it, has... it summons something back from the grave. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a Monster Reborn effect of some sort. Yeah, It's bad. It's just worse Monster Reborn, and that's legal. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, and then we have uh, Allure of Darkness from semi, semi to unlimited. <laughs> You're semi. Um, it's been... going to explode. Um, so, yeah. interesting take on the ban yeah. list. Um, they my... have a nice way of bringing things back, which is they just sort of bring them in in staggers. Whereas, like, I can't stand I it. Love just, it. Just, just goes like, rip off the have three. It just seems like, you know, oh, hi, Osma. They've <laughs> got people who are interested in the card game making their ban lists. <laughs> like, they actually play and in, enjoy the game, and they're like, oh, we want this game to be enjoyable. Nope. I've got to stop talking about the ban list. It's pissed me off so much. It's we move. Just new topic. We move on. We move on to uh, the uh, the Wind Duel pack. Yep. So we talked about this on our, one of our most uh, recent pods. Might uh, be the from... most recent one. <laughs> uh, no, I think we did ban list predictions uh, before. Oh, after that. So Two months our... ago. <laughs> it, was, it was quite some time ago. Um, so they did end up announcing the three uh, packs that, or three duelists that would be supported. Um, none of which were you send you, unfortunately. Look, it happens. Yeah. Look, what we can I do? Have they actually shown off any effects from that pack? No. Nah. No. So they've shown off the new Crystal Wing. They've shown off the new... Uh, um, there's some new archetype. The um, new archetype that tries to... It's just a Thirst Trap. What? Yes. Yeah, it's the Thirst Trap. Thirst archetype. Trap. No, no, I, I heard him. Okay. I just don't know why. What? Because it's just a fucking... Anime. It's, yeah, it's just an anime waifu with wings. Oh, yep, yeah, that's right. Yeah, no, that's um, Liralus. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's the Liralus duelist. And then there's another one who is, um, again, wind type, obviously. And her archetype seems to revolve around things coming back from the grave. So sort of like pseudo-zombies. Um, but they're all like planty type. I don't know. They... I didn't look into the anime enough and I can't remember the name of the duelist. The artwork for it though looks really cool. It's like a hooded skeleton on a dead horse. It's kind of sick. Oh, that one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. I'm glad one of us looks at art. <laughs> well, when we have no effects to look at, that's yeah. all you've got to go on. Um, so, yeah, and it'll be interesting to see whether we get any generic wind support um, or whether there's just some cool reprints. Like, it'd be cool if we got some speed rod reprints. Yeah. Um, even some Lulu's high rarity reprints, because I dare say this set would be like a Toon Chaos-esque level set, so yeah, we could get the it's, collector's rares. It's about Toon Chaos time, right? It's mm. not a Toon Chaos set, because that's the next thing we're going to talk about. Oh, jeez. Yes. But, like, this is also the most relevant Lyra Lusk has ever been since it was involved in Pend FDK. So, like, yep. Yeah, yep. this is the most they'll ever get to shine. So, it makes sense for them to receive support now. Is that card still on the ban list? It was never on the ban list. Assembled Nightingale? That's... Never on the ban no. list. Oh, okay. The they banned, they banned, the they banned, the copy they banned the three other cards I so that they, they didn't have to ban it. Neptune's, no. Starving Venom, and. Uh, Neptune's, there Starving was the, Venom, and Astrograph. Astrograph. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jesus, me. But now, now we're just like, no, we can't have Astrograph back because it summons. It's rare. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> every, time, every time we end a segment, it just circles back to the band list that he hates. I don't even talk about it. It's not even me. I'm just the one. I'm... If this was a video <laughs> podcast, you would just see the expression on your face. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're talking about the band list. I'm going to take a deep breath and sigh. <laughs> you ever had, ever had a deep breath for dinner? <laughs> <laughs> like some fresh air and you're like... <laughs> fresh, br- fresh cup of cope. It's <laughs> a fresh cup of cope. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Copious um, amounts. So, yeah, speaking heroin. of the next set, um, I believe the next set is the... Um, what are they called again? Ancient Guardians. So that's meant to be oh, coming Oh, I thought we were going to talk about the, the King set. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah we yeah, have got that Kingdom as well. Oh, Mech Knight's uh, yes. getting more support. Oh, Except man. they're not... Jack Knights. No, Jack no. Knight. In, oh, yeah. you, do you remember that? The, no. When, when so Mech Knights got OCG, released, in the OCG, they, they were called Jack Knights. Jack Knights. And everyone <laughs> took that to be that, oh, it's the King's Knight and the... Jack's Knight and Queen's Knight getting support. No. Nothing to do with each other. Yeah. Into zones. I was like, how does this work with the... And I was just like... It doesn't. I was just told, it doesn't. And I was like... Oh. It turns into a Link <laughs> oh. Spider. Gives you a downwards pointing arrow you can summon <laughs> underneath it. None. But we already have Avram! <laughs> so... We already do that. You see, the thing about that is, you can also, like, there's there's better parts, which is that I've forgotten where I'm going with this. Let's move on. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> it's right, very late. It's, the band it's three a.m. So they've only Actually, alluded to they've only alluded to the um, a couple of cards in that set. They've not said what their specific effects are. One of them is like Magician Souls, but worse, in that. It summons itself, sends something from deck to grave, and then copies its name. So that in itself is supposed to enable the kings and queens yeah. and jacks nice to it's summon themselves. Kings. And then they also have, I believe, a spell and a trap that do the same, or not the same thing, but um, both the spell trap and the monster recur themselves to hand if they're in the graveyard at the end of the turn. So it's meant to keep your hand resources full. And then they're like, and if you like doing that, maybe you'd like to splash in... Um, Sly for the Sky Dragon in the new God Structure deck. Oh, what? No. Oh, this is going to be a joke. All I know is someone tonight, I can't remember who it was, bought the the Arcana Knight Joker from the store binder. Are you serious? Yeah. I have so many of those. Same. I have so many questions. <laughs> like, <laughs> why? <laughs> Not why. why. It's more like, where? <laughs> Where are you going to summon your okay? Canaanite joke on? What's yeah, where, where are you going to put this? <laughs> Up your ass. It would be nice to actually have that link playable. Because, like... Which one? Well, it's basically Macabre. It came out in, like, a mega teen ages ago, and it was completely irrelevant, because everyone's like, I'm not going to make this. Because you have to use, specifically, King's Knight, Queen's Knight, Jack's Knight. Oh, and it was the link. Oh, this... Yeah. Our Canaanite Joker is just worse oh. Macabre. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Much harder to summon, but does exactly the same thing. No, the it doesn't is... destroy or banish. It just negates the effect. Yep. Yeah, it's so it's savage, like... <laughs> but so much worse. Savage, but instead of just being a level 8 synchro... It's garbage. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad. Yeah, it yeah, is very bad. bad. Very also, the bad. secret rare is $111. Huge, necro fusion. There's a secret rare? No, what? that's the fusion, isn't it? What? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I came out Joker. Oh, I'm... 
Isn't there a link of it? I don't know. There's a link? There might be. The fusion's bad. Yeah. Also, I think, yeah, I think there's I a link. I once did a video on the combo to make that. It's draw... Yeah, this is the card I was talking about. Arcana it's draw Extra Jax Shot. Knight, then it's draw <laughs> King's Knight or whatever, and double summon, and that's your combo. And then or... you summon Queen's Knight. Wait, can it not be summoned with Polly? Huh? Can Probably it not just not. be summoned with Polly? Oh, it can be fusion summon this way. But it can also be... No, it just says, just says a fusion summon of this card can only be done with the above materials. <laughs> um... We also need a dual polarization. Yep. <laughs> as bad as this card sounds, the link is worse. <laughs> oh boy. I want to see it. <laughs> okay. The link do? Uh, so once per turn, when a spell, trap, or monster effect is activated that targets this face up card yep. on the field it's or fine. monster this card points to, discard the same type of card, negate the activation. It's better than this one because this one says targets this card. Okay. Yep. But after you've summoned the three garbage cards to make this, how are you then summoning again? <laughs> yeah. Like, it's simple. If you're when playing this, that deck, hey, that is as far as you've gotten. When you can summon that Nymph for Noble. Battle, only by battle, it's by the way. Not oh, three warriors effect. of different names. Oh, my. Oh, new Link 3. Meh, 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 meh. Jeez. Stretch summon a level 4 warrior normal monster from your deck and add one level 4 warrior monster from the deck to the hand. When this Link summon. Not by card effect, battle. Yeah, it does more. Sure. It's got 2800 oh, and has a grave Christ. effect. Yeah. Oh boy. It, when it's just dropped on the of the grave. Yeah. yeah, special summon of a vanilla level 4 warrior. And then you add a warrior. And then you can also add. Search his arm again, not broken. But remember, Bennett. remember. Ah, uh, turn by 3 battle. FTK. By not card effects. Well, you summon in your top zone, then you summon all the stuff that you're wanting to protect underneath. So that's where you slap down. Well, yeah, it's, it's in the top zone. They have to attack that first. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's it's, a, it's at the front stage. How do you summon the Link Monster and the Fusion in one turn? By it entering is the impossible. Zone. Necrofusion. So, yes. uh, uh, soul charged. Soul charged. <laughs> oh no, you just use fusion gate. Oh yeah, of course. And then activate of course. that trap. <laughs> ah, of course. Of course. Ah, sorry. <laughs> you just do an FDK, that's impossible to do. You only need a four card combo to make that, which is every card and double summon. Uh, you need pot of desires. Just and then you also need fusion gate. <laughs> yeah, yep. just those. It's, it's there sim- you go. Yeah, simple. You've made... Uh, Bad. You can't. You, you've made bad. You just. You, you've I mean, made scoop turbo. You, you can't target them. That's a plus. You can target them. They but can just negate the first time you do it. If you have any cards in hand left. Well, this is the thing that like they're trying to make up for this fact that you've had to spend every single one of your resources, and they say, "Oh, but don't worry, two of them come back to hand." They already fucked it up. That was the least aggressive, angry I've ever seen. Because I told him he can't slap the table because if he slaps the table, it pops the mic. More than anything. Yeah, it's pretty bad. But if it does end up becoming a decent, like, summon three mechanic, then maybe the Slifer deck can use it, or the Obelisk deck for that that matter. Because they've got some very good spell and trap support. Like, they've got the, like, destroy everything and they can't respond trap and the something or other. Like, the god cards have some really decent cards coming out, so it'd be interesting to see whether that actually supplements them at all. Spoiler. I take... I take... <laughs> it does. No, I was going to yes. say, I take no one agrees oh. with me, because there was dead silence. Yeah, Lachlan was whispering, and I was like, I don't think it's going to show up on the microphone, because it was really quiet. <laughs> it did. Just it's very soft. softly. Yeah, see? John hates me now. So... <laughs> We're a little over a week into the new format. Um, how do we feel it's going so far? Everyone may answer before me. <laughs> I, I am both enjoying it and not enjoying it in the sense that... Welcome to I, the year. I want to play Dragon Maid, but at the same time I want to play other things. Yeah. Um, Salah best deck. That's all I have to say. Good. Dragon Maid best deck. That. Dragon Maid is the best deck. So Didn't fun. beat Salad. Easy. It did beat Salad. <laughs> no, it didn't. Oh, when I played it, it did. I swear... You did not beat me with Dragon Maid. Huh? You are not the you only not salad player. Me. You beat Dark. Hayden, right? No, you will neither of them no? there. You, it was someone else. Oh, never mind then. Yeah, I didn't no. beat Salad. <laughs> <laughs> I beat Salad frequently, though. It's a Tuesday night. <laughs> no, you didn't. You beat Doc's Virtual World, and you... 
I, you almost stuffed it up so many times and I was like, I need to stop watching this match or I'm going to yell at him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was like, oh, stay in my face, anything? No. <laughs> no, I'm not activating Shio. I whatever. Went, I specifically Pens wait the for Doctor like, play a card sure? to start his main phase and I'm like, now I'm going to storm off and prove that Lachlan did something wrong. <laughs> Anytime someone's a problem at our locals, you just storm away from the table, get the nearest person, and just complain to them. You're basically just finding a therapist to talk to. You yeah, know, if you take too long to say therapist. <laughs> <laughs> Slow kicker. Do you know what's worse than a rapist? A child. <laughs> <laughs> Lads, I've got a question because we're at 26 minutes. What do you do to prepare before a tourney? Like a big tourney. Like what, what do you do the night before? Do you have any like ritual or anything? Or like... Lately we apparently go to Luke's place. Yeah. Don't pass. go to sleep. That's my top tip. Yeah? You just don't sleep? Yeah, that's exactly. how you... That's how Wait, you... no. That's how you top. Don't sleep. No, you, sl- you slept on the Friday night. You didn't sleep the Saturday night and you lost on the Saturday night. <laughs> no, no, I didn't sleep both nights of YCS. Okay. Either night. So you went the whole way. Two no days. Sleep. Fuck me. Because I had to catch a train at like five. Well, you didn't sleep on the train. Because no, Seb was like, no, it's okay. You can stay with me for free. And Josh was like, you're going to ask for the money. I'm Two extra the fucking train. train. <laughs> <laughs> He's lulling me into a false sense of security. Zero dollars? Fuck off. <laughs> you're going to ask me for money. The Where's the hidden fee? I will need so your th- handouts, man. <laughs> The thing is, he, like, booked a double room because that's all that was left. So, like, he's like, would someone please just stay with me? I have this massive room. And you're like, no, I'd rather stay awake for 48 hours. <laughs> Probably more like 60 hours. So, like, right. I'm really early. Fucking that definitely, that's a lot. I think yeah. that's to the point where you start hallucinating. He definitely got to the point where he was like, my opponent's stalling me for time, but I'm just going to take it. <laughs> well, it's better than hallucinating, I guess. But there's nothing, like, specific, like, you do? What about you, Jake? Not really. I do quite the opposite. I make sure I have a good night's sleep. I What's... don't. Yeah, I don't sleep. Oh, and I make sure that my bag's packed. This is a shame. Make sure you really think about, like about your death list. I this question to tell everyone my <laughs> ritual, because no one else had a ritual. I break out the Hypergee Matrix Calculator three days before the event <laughs> and completely change my deck list based on what it tells me. <laughs> What's a hypergeometric calculator? I still don't calculator? understand how to use the hypergeometric calculator. I don't, even, I don't even know where it is. The hyperjack eccentric calculator hyperjack. <laughs> tells you your odds of drawing hand traps. Apparently oh. I have a really well, high percentage. Well, I know percentage. why, I don't run hand traps ever. <laughs> run 14, like me. No. If you play a soul day, 45 cards is the correct ratio on your deck. Really? Yep. Why? I've run the numbers. It's correct. <laughs> I've run the numbers. I've run 45 cards. Exactly. It, it feels bad. 45 cards is mathematically correct if you play all day. Yes, but it's not correct. <laughs> okay, well, I do a weird thing where, like, because at 2019, uh, Nats, I specifically didn't top because I didn't read one certain interaction with a card. Like, which was the uh, Gigi can connect back from Grave, right? And so, before big events now, I literally sit down, put all my cards, like, in a pile, and I will look over every fucking inch of that card. <laughs> like, I look at, I read the effects like four times, and then I look at all the art and I visualize winning. Like, okay. I've been playing Dragon Mage for eight months, and then only yesterday realized that I can don't have to bounce the monster back to get the fusion. Oh, <laughs> uh, I guess I have a tip. Just as soon as you're going there, remember, this is an event, you have to be quite merciless with how you play. Yeah, don't let people take shit back. If, if it's your mate, go for it. But like, you're there to win, right? I remember what you happened. You want to top. That, that's better than anything. Being nice and being the dude who never tops, you will be forgotten. Uh, on mm. Sunday when Poe was in the finals, uh, his friend accidentally messed something up and had more cars than he should have. After sorting death, Poe was like, it's fine, we're friends, just doing it. But he, he literally said after, if this wasn't, well, if you, if there was an actual event, I would DQ you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, then- and I think that's the fair way to play. Yeah. Poe proceeded to also make a deck error. Yeah. And then they die rolled for game one. Which is and po very lost. against the rules. It's yeah. funny. Smile. No one knows who we're talking about. 
Yeah, we're talking about Bew. Yeah. <laughs> That's a Poe, what do you mean? Um, <laughs> no, this is Poe. It's, it's po. not Poe, buddy. It's Poe. But yeah. Um, yeah, po, I don't really have any like super special ritual. Like The main thing I want to make sure is that the day goes as smoothly as possible. For the most part, like I, I rarely pick up a deck like a week or two before an event and start playing it there and mm. then. I'll have been playing that deck for several months at that point. Welcome to hell. Um, take you out and then so, Jimmy, yeah. you haven't played a deck since. I was playing Orcus at YCS, you moron. I was playing Salad Forever. Yeah, my so man's putting played, shit on me. My man played <laughs> no, he was, Orcus. He was putting a joke on himself, but then you thought he was trying to make a joke about it. You. Yeah, well, he, fuck you. He was like, oh no, I'm going to play too. Orcus because it's meta, does terribly. No, and I, then he's like, I'll go back to my main deck of Invoked. Uh, oh. Mech Knight, finals of the fucking giant yeah, card. Number, I'm like, when ten. will you learn? <laughs> yeah, and now I've not stopped playing, Alice, and you're like, fuck off! <laughs> yes, <laughs> at big events, I support you. Do it to oh. someone else. <laughs> the big word tip? choice there, do it to someone else. Play the deck you're good at, not the deck you just picked up you think is metal. Yeah, yeah, Except if you're really good garbage. at the game. Yeah. Um, I remember when you like... summoned um, Elysium against... Fucking, what's his name? But I, I always forget his name as well. Second. Raph. I mean, yeah, Nevin. Raph. Raph Nevin. Nevin. Yeah. yeah. You summon Elysium oh. against him. He's like, the fuck is this? And then <laughs> bring it five times. Oh. Yeah, that was quite annoying because I think I banished like a uh, Longarizu or something like that, and mm. he just brought it back with one. I was like, fuck. You're fucking. <laughs> I remember bro, looking at John. I was like, no, come on, Jake. No, no, no. I remember after his first turn, I was like. Holy fuck! Jake's won the giant card. That's it. Like I, it, it was game three, and you had bought it back game two or something. And I was like, "That's it. He's won. That that's awesome." Because you set up Mechaba and fucking um uh Callie. Callie. Yeah, it Callie. would have been yeah Kaliga and Makaba. Kaliga and Makaba. And I was like, "How does he lose from here against fucking August? Dude made ding with no effects." Like, he got to Dingira suit with no effects, and he, he somehow like baited point. out the Mechaba, and then didn't use a single monster effect to get to yeah. uh, Dingira suit, and do then do just that? sent the Kaliga. Just, I don't remember, but all I remember... Two cards. All I remember was, like, holy fuck, like, this dude has <laughs> done really well to see this line of play. Because he thought about it for so long. Yeah, no, like, I and I was like... I'm oh. gonna guess he probably had a return... And then, um, like, a Monster Reborn is your effect? I don't uh, think he I drew know. any so hard one of They played free summons in the deck. Okay, was Monster so Reborn how, even legal at the time? I'm pretty sure, junk if I'm remembering I so. correctly, I think he went to Afterburn as the Macabre and it gated. And then he activated a bunch of draw spells, um, summoned uh, Greffa, normal summoned Harp, made Galatea, made Dingisu. Yeah. Is a not, isn't Greffa an activated effect? No, the no. summon from hand is... Um, What's the word? Inherent. Uh-huh. Inherited is not a real phrase. <laughs> <laughs> off. It's an unclassified effect. I fucking hate people. But should also go into their effects. It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> so, last thing to touch on is that we do have the Millennium Puzzle. So yes. someone has actually created a puzzle Ooh. that is the Millennium Puzzle. No glue involved. It's literally you just put the thing together and it holds its shape, apparently. And no instructions. No instructions, so and it do doesn't come. Instructions. Uh, doesn't come already in the thing. Like it comes un, yeah. uh, you not assembled. Build the whole thing. That's gonna With sound no very very fun. We're gonna do. A we're gonna show. yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna do, yeah. Ben and I are going to do it, and it's going to be incredible. Yes, they've they've given a price and a release. It's up. August and it's about fifty bucks. Fifty Australian? That's, yeah, that's pretty. Cool. It's four thousand yen, so <laughs> fifty bucks. I'm super keen for that. Oh, I think that's going to be fun because, um, I, I imagine <laughs> where it's we're going to struggle. I feel like a little bit. I think it's going to take a very long time. Yeah, because if we don't, then it's boring. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, it's not simple. Your I hope it's not simple. I hope it's take. real. It, to be fair, we're looking at one specific photo. This photo, that looks difficult, yeah, bro. Yeah, it does look very That looks difficult. difficult. For, for the fact that this is an audio podcast, it's the picture of all the puzzle pieces just laid out on a table. 
and it seems like there's a lot, and all of them don't look like they clearly link in with other pieces. It's like around 40-ish pieces. It's like a Rubik's Cube, but not at all. It's going to be great. <laughs> it's going to be great. And we get a cool chain to put it on. Yeah. Oh, God. A big, thick chain. A wallet go chain. <laughs> How did I know? Scott? You're going to go to the, the card chain. store, and <laughs> you're going <laughs> to give them all your money. <laughs> Um, so I think that'll do for tonight's pod. Uh, thank you everyone for coming. Uh, Lachlan, Ben, and you. Ben, where can um, people find you? Uh, at Nolan CG. Link in the description as always. <laughs> Nolan CG. Nolan CG. CG. We're now a collector's card game place. <laughs> He's just drawn himself on like three cards. <laughs> collect, collect all of me. Um, ah, oh, 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 yes. <laughs> Get his field centers when they never come out. <laughs> I um, got one for myself, that's it. <laughs> so yeah, the link to Nolan TCG will be in the description below. Um, we also have the link for our Discord, um, so feel free to jump in, have a chat, ask us questions, <laughs> anything like that. Um, really cool bunch of guys in there, so, and there, it, may, there may be a it's woman. It's been... <laughs> what, Discord? No, I don't think so. <laughs> no, I'm not, I don't know. <laughs> maybe. I think there's maybe one, I don't know. If you're a woman and you're in the Discord, comment down below. Don't. <laughs> no, actually, well, you can, but probably don't. It's, don't. It's... Don't. We'll find you. Um, but you can also send us an email. Yeah, sure. What is that email? Uh, TeamC4G at gmail.com. The four being a number. Perfect. See you guys next week. Awesome. Bye. 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 Later, skaters.